what's up world it's freedom here um as you can see I don't have my mustache no more I was um, trying to trim up today and I messed up my mustache so I just decided to cut it all off so now I have somewhat I have a naked lip and um I don't mind it I actually like the way it looks I like this look um you have a problem with my look well, I like this look I don't care what nausea has to say but anyway I want to share with you guys today um, I just really want to encourage all the young ministers out there and all the young ministry leaders out there uh, I know how hard it can get to like continue on it gets really discouraging sometimes being so young but yet being so um, filled with passion and it's just ministry is your whole life um, it's almost like it's nothing else because you can't really go clubbing I've never really experienced a club life, and I definitely can't go experience it now. <laughs> Can you imagine me walking in a club and somebody like, wait, aren't you Freedom from Health Ministry? <laughs> Every place I go, people do that. When I go to, I went to Planet Fitness one day, and the dude that I was showing my ID to looked at, he kept looking at me, and he just look, looked at me like, your freedom weeks from health ministries. Oh, I went to stop and shop, and the guy was like, "You still still lead worship?" I was like, "I don't know you, sir." <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I can't. We can't be seen in certain places because of what we do. So I know the hardship for you, young ministers and young ministry leaders. Well, at least for those that are actually active, because you have a whole bunch of people with titles nowadays that's not doing anything. But um, I've come to encourage all you active ministers oh. and ministry Shots leaders. Fired. I had to do that real quick because it just, it's just it's very frustrating. But anyway, I, I just really want to encourage you guys. Today, um, this guy who attends our services, and he helps us out music-wise sometimes and everything, and he comes to our Bible studies, he just randomly decides to share with me how help has um, really impacted his life he just came to me like man I, I never told you this but I really appreciate help and I'm like oh thanks man thanks for sharing he's like nah I really appreciate you guys because when I first came I was really contemplating about killing myself I was trying to commit suicide and um, but when I came to Bible study I heard something and you guys really changed my life and he was just sharing how Jairus um, I don't remember what he said but he's, Jairus said something and made him look at life differently and that Bible study really changed his life. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So I really just want to share that, to, to, to share with all you guys that whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you're saving somebody's life. God is using you to save somebody's life. Don't even, don't think that the words that come out of your mouth are just you, because it's not. Oftentimes you really, you fall into that, to that mindset because you're so used to getting up and speaking in front of people Sometimes you just forget, like, God is really giving you the words to say at that moment in time. But um, be encouraged and keep doing the work of the Lord. Keep moving forward and remain mindful that everything that you do is impacting somebody's life. And I guess I'll leave this, this blog with um, the words that one of my elders always say to me. The decisions that you make are very important. Remember that. You guys have a great day, a great whatever it is, wherever you're at, and um, just have a great one.